This story will cover from then to now and next, all about change, how to turn losers into winners. Packs of wolves are pouring across Europe, west from Russia to Portugal, north from Italy to Norway, in fact, in all directions. But can we live with them? These ancestors of the domestic dog, our best friend. Wolves are certainly cute when they're tiny, like these fortunate rescued pups. But when they grow up, milk won't do. It could be a deer, wild boar, or a sheep, and that's when the trouble starts. They must kill to live. From the highest mountains to the farms below, wild wolves and domestic dogs share our lives. This white, snowy Samoyed has been part of Arctic human life for ages. Its fur has been vital in its survival in some of the coldest places on the planet. Well equipped with good eyesight, hearing and a sense of smell. And in Italy, sheep dogs plus spikes are alert to wolves which are only really tempted by the farmed prey we provide. It's up to us to work out ways of helping domestic and wild dogs live together. Certainly dogs can help us, the blind, and in this case a sort of wolf, an Alsatian. A police dog that saved the life of policeman Dave Wardell, who had been knifed. And Finn got knifed too, 30 stitches. Dave Wardell slept on a camp bed by his side for a month as he nursed Finn back to fitness. Finn's now retired. Great credit to a kind of wolf. So, friend or foe, German shepherd dog or wolf. As they say, the wolf has had a bad press ever since the little Red Riding Hood story broke and we have changed their lives in many other ways too. Not only have we shot, trapped and poisoned them, but we've completely transformed their home. The little swift fox of the North American prairies has nowhere to go because the whole landscape is now man-made. This classic archive footage will reveal how man can help a species, turn a loser into a winner, in fact. He hunts prairie dogs, not actually a dog, but a rodent. So without a food supply, he can't survive. But that can change, or be changed, as we'll see, through this survey of some of the world's 35 canids, as they're called. From the stumpy bush dog of the tropical rainforest, to the elegant maned wolf that strides the Brazilian savannas, always alert for mice and insects. And at night in deserts of the Middle East, the fennec fox, with ears all the better to hear you with, listens for similar prey. But the star of this show, the Arctic Fox, is one that can survive in the harshest conditions and has a coat to prove it, well up to a point. That is, until it changes colour with the season. Or 
man takes that white fur for his own greedy reasons. <laughs>